Okay then, welcome back. This is video number two in the series of scraping without a browser. In the first video, we learned how to get the data by using a HTTP request, a GET request, to download a web page from the server. This is without a browser. Okay, so all that comes back is the raw um, page source of whatever you've requested from the browser. We did that in the first video. Okay, so just to recap, all I did in the first video is make a GET request in the HTTP client box. So if we come back, we've been using the browser tab. Okay, so we come over to the HTTP client. We made a GET request or we're requesting a web page from the server and we put the URL in here as we did with the browser um, version, but this is a non-browser. And what happens then, a request is made to any server, so it could be uh, Facebook, Twitter, it could be any any uh, website, and we request the page uh, source code, and it's down brought to us, okay, it's downloaded. Now what you wanna do after that is you use the content feature so we're still in the http client uh, toolbox and then we go content and we save the content as a variable so what this is is the content of the downloaded page the source code of the um, page that we've requested with the get request okay so i'm going to leave it as saved content just so it makes sense and there we go so what we've done we've made a request to the server Okay, in this case, in this demonstration, it's twitter.com and it's Adam Baldwin's Twitter profile, you know, just a random profile that I picked out. So we requested the page from the server, it's downloaded the source code, the, the page source, and then we've put that page source into a variable called saved content. Okay, so what we're going to do from here, guys, is we're going to do the first video, and this will be a multi-part video because it's such an in-depth topic, we're going to use um, one method to scrape data, and it's not the only way. As I've said in previous videos, there's more than one way to skin a cat. But if you can get the hang of this, then it's going to open doors. Okay, we're going to scrape the data using a regex. The whole idea behind a regex, and it's hot, the whole... Um, Theory and what you can do with it is massive, guys. It, you could spend a lifetime um, on regexes, but in its most basic form, it's a way for us to instruct uh, the bot to um, scrape data within a set parameters. And I'm gonna show you that now in its most basic form, and we're gonna get more in depth with it as we go on. But guys, if you master this, you, it's gonna lead you to be able to scrape in so much content so quickly okay guys so what i've done here with this get request is basically it's downloaded the source code for this twitter profile adam baldwin okay and what i want to do is grab his username his twitter handle or username or whatever you want to call it okay from the page this is without a browser so this could be used if you were scraping uh, targeted people you know on Twitter with a keyword you could build a tool that goes to Google finds people with a, within a certain keyword and then come to their page and scrape their username so there's a million what reasons you could um, you could uh, what you could do with this but okay for this example I've downloaded this page okay here's the source code for that page you can do this with all within Bass, which I'm going to show you in the next video. But just so you can see the screen a bit better, all I've done is come to his profile and I've clicked, right clicked and view source. So here's the source code, okay? And what I want to grab is his username. Now, it's in this case, it's displayed so many times on the page. There's more than one way to skin a cat. There's different regexes you could use depending on how you want to scrape it. There's no right or wrong way. Okay, guys, remember that. You could build a regex that got the username from here, or look, there's 132 places on the page where his username is. Okay, um, here would be tempting to grab it but what i'm going to do guys just for this video to keep the first video very simple is i found his username here 
okay so it's in the title tag and then here you've got this this is on every single um, Twitter page um, yeah it has the parentheses or the uh, the brackets and then the at symbol and then the person's username so lucky for us um, bass comes with an inbuilt regex um, expression constructor okay so what I'm gonna do when you're building the regex in its most simple form what you need is the data you're actually looking for so in this case it's Adam Baldwin okay and you need something before the data that you want you actually want so I'm going to use this the brackets and the at symbol and something afterwards so in this, this case just the bracket and you're going to see why in a second so I'm going to take that information and over here to get to this by the way guys if you, you're in bass you can just go to tools and regular expression constructor okay and that will that will <laughs> bring you to this screen okay it will come onto the screen and all you do is click I want to build a regular expression now initially it's asking you to put in look you can just read it yourself but input result together with side text and it even gives you an example okay so in this case I'm gonna put in our content which is the Adam Baldwin which is the actual information I want to grab and then either side is a bit of data so that we can make a regular expression this is in its most simple form guys we can spend a lifetime going over regexes and we're going to go in more in depth but so I've got that information so I'm going to press push next and it's telling me now select result that means the actual information that we want so within this bit of content what I actually want to scrape is the Adam Baldwin okay so highlighted that I press next and it says mark parts of text and convert them to a regular expression so what it's saying is the stuff on either side that I don't want okay but it's used to build the regular expression because what happens guys whatever we build here it's going to go through the whole um, so the source code of the page and find anything with it that has this data and that will become clearer in a second so on this side the stuff I don't want is the at symbol and the bracket the left hand side bracket so click and this guys is where it gets deep and we're going to go into this in other videos it's asking you what can it take from the page and there's so many ways to do this okay um, it's asking you um, so before the Adam Baldwin the actual stuff that we want this text how many t the stuff that we said we don't want the at symbol and the brackets is giving us options with that could it be um, any symbol um, could it be included with digits white space and so many options all the exact te text that we set out for which is the curly bracket and the at symbol so we're going to leave it as that because that's that's fine for us how many times can this occur so we in this case we just want to see it once so we leave it on once and we put accept now it says select is saying the same thing but the other side of the text we want so in this case it's just that bracket so we select that and then it's asking us the same question we're going to go into detail we can spend a lifetime on this guys and it's a really in-depth subject uh, so but we're going to leave it it's got to be the exact text that it's looking for which is the bracket just one bracket and we only want it to scrape if it's seen one time within the text and now it's saying to us once again select the text that we actually want so we want the Adam Baldwin text and it's the same information now we we're not going to say it has to say Adam Baldwin it has to be that or don't scrape it because you could be using this on a thousand different pages for a thousand different usernames and we don't want it to just scrape it if it says Adam Baldwin because every time it's going to be a different username so what we can do is make it up from these different options I'm going to use any symbol so it can be anything anything that's between uh, the two 
things we've told it to match against, which is the at symbol and the bracket this side and the bracket the other side. So anything that's in between there, okay, will accept. So any symbol, how many times can this occur? Or in this case, how many symbols or, I'm um, sorry, <clears throat> how many letters or how many numbers? And we're gonna put, it's gotta be one or more. There has to be more than one letter or number in there and then we just put accept and then put next and here guys is our regular expression that's all it's made up of so that's a way for the computer i'm um, sorry the program to interpret when we use a regex expression that that's the data we want now what we can do to test our regex is we know that the date is here okay so what we can do is grab some of the source code I'm just going to grab some of it. Make sure you obviously grab it that's included in, um, grab a part of the source code that includes the content you're actually looking for. And we can just throw it in here. And it's going to find absolutely nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see what I've done wrong here. Okay. Ah, it has done it. Okay. So where have I made a mistake? Let's go back. I'm just going to run through this quickly guys because to see so select my result okay I want the Adam Baldwin parts of the text I don't want or the what's the anchor either side so on the left hand side it's the at and the um, the bracket and then I want it to be that exact text it has to be that to match just one time this side it's the bracket exact match just one time this is the content I actually want. I want it to have any symbol, one or more symbol numbers or letters. I think I'll oh, match, right. In this case, because there's more than one on the page or similar, I need to use the match as few times as possible. I think that's the problem. Okay, there's that. Press next. Let's put our text back in. And there you go. In that um, content that I just used, it's on there twice but that's okay as long as it's on there once and you can see it's found Adam Baldwin so what's happened guys is use the regex that we've put together previously and within the source code that we just pasted in here it's used that regular expression or that set of rules to look for data in here and pull the set data and it's found what we're looking for Adam Baldwin so what we can do now guys is take that regex at the top see here and we copy that let's go back to our our bass <clears throat> sorry our profile um, our project and what we want to do now is we come to our toolbox and this time we want to use the regular expression tools click there and in this case guys you want to use the option first match now the first thing we have to decide is the string to apply the regex to that we just built now we it's the save content that we want because what we did we made the get request and it saved that source code to the variable save content so go to our variables and find our save content and what's the regular expression we want to use or in other words okay so the bot saying look i'm going to look through that source code and what data am i looking for so the regular expression we built was I'll just paste it there remember we copied it from here up the top here and I've just put it in there now the next section is the variable names so what it's saying is so the first time that it finds a match what should I call the variable what should I save the data to what should the variable name be and again for the second and the third time that it finds it on the page so I'm just gonna use one variable and I'm gonna call it uh, Twitter user okay and then you can leave that all matched there that's just an expression that covers all of the findings on the page so I'm gonna hit OK and what I'm gonna do just so we can see that in action is I'm gonna tell it to toolbox and then log on the logger the variable Twitter user So guys, so what we're doing here is we made a get request 
to get the source code for this page, which is a Twitter user. That source has been saved. The content's been saved into a variable called save content. We built a regular expression, okay, a simple regular expression to look through that source uh, code and any match that we built for that regular expression, okay, to then save it into a variable. Um, and we called that variable because we only wanted to find the first match called Twitter user, okay, and then to log all it's found. So let's see what happens. So we're going to download the page, the Twitter profile. And then we're going to put that um, source code of the page into a variable called save content. Then we're going to look through the content, the save content, and look for matches with the regular expression that we made. So it's basically going to go over this source code and it's going to look for a match with the regular expression that we built. So it's going to look for anything that has a, um, sorry, has the um, at symbol, sorry, <laughs> and the, um, the bracket here on one side. So it's going to look for anything that has a bracket and an at symbol one side, and then just has a single bracket the, at the end and anything in between that when it finds that combination it's going to scrape okay I hope that makes better sense like that and you could use that for anything so what you could have done you could have come down here and scraped this whole bit here okay and said okay so this is the uh, date that I want the Alan Baldwin and then before that, the content before, the hook before, it has to say HTTPS uh, forward slash forward slash Twitter dot com um, forward slash and then afterwards a question mark. So if you would have scraped, hard to grab when it's, uh, okay, that, then what would happen then, it would look for anywhere on the page where it's got HTTPS two dots forward slash twitter dot com forward slash and then a question mark and then anything in between that it would scrape okay which would be Adam Baldwin and you could use this on numerous data fields on here the, the usernames absolutely everywhere on this page so for, for here you could have done this use this as a regular expression and then the before data or, on the left hand side use user line style line and the after data just a um, what they call quote quotation mark there and then what would happen it would look for anything on the page that has this on the left hand side this on the right hand side and scrape any data that's in between so I hope that makes a bit more sense to you guys this is a really deep subject so I'm trying to make it as bite sized as possible um, so back to our bot, so it's going to look on that source code for any match of the um, regex that we made and then log that if it's found anything into the log. So we'll just check the log now and it found Adam Baldwin which is what we wanted. So guys you could then build on this and have a list of a thousand, ten thousand, a million different Twitter profiles and then scrape every single person's username in lightning speed time. So guys, we're going to build on this on the next video. Um, regex scra and scraping uh, is a big in-depth subject. There's many ways to use this 